Snow on the ground and more snow on the way. I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell, and in an unusual move this week, the city of Nampa hired four contractors to clear residential streets. I spoke with the officials that can maintain the roads and the plows. Nampa has seen 16 inches of snow since January 8th, and in that time, the Nampa Streets Division has used 17,493 gallons of brine, 938 yards of salt, 275 yards of sand, and just under 1,000 man-hours. It is very, it's not typical at all. To, yeah, that's, to go, a lot. that's a lot. Crews have been on 12 hour shifts since January 11th and will continue that schedule through Thursday. Steve told me he put in over 80 hours last week. Our salt pile was probably, I don't know, 70% bigger than this before this event. And when was the majority of that salt used? Friday morning till Sunday morning. Nampa residents can expect the same level of pre-treatment and street plowing, but what they shouldn't be expecting is their neighborhood to be plowed. Once we hit over six inches of snowfall in a 24-hour period, we then hire contractors to go through the residential areas. Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval tells me that Nampa is expecting to see around four inches. The streets division cooks their own road brine comprised of just regular road salt and water heated and dissolved to a salinity level of 23.32%. Seawater has a salinity of 3.5%. If the road brine is half a percentage high or low, it will freeze on the road, making already slick conditions worse. The container cooks 650 gallons at a time with a salt truck packing 3,000. And he'll So this isn't even a truck, not even no, close to a no, truck. Not even close. To date, the crews have used nearly 69,000 gallons of their road brine. Nampa crews can pre-treat when the air temperature is above 15 degrees. Any lower than that, then the brine will freeze on the road. And Steve added that the quantity of salt, brine, and sand is about the amount that they would normally use by about February in a regular year. From the Streets Division, I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.